How to Read Wind Roses If you're curious about how to decipher those colorful circular diagrams known as wind roses, you're in the right place. Let's break it down step by step. A wind rose is essentially a circular chart that shows how wind speed and direction are distributed at a specific location over a certain period. Imagine a compass, but instead of just directions, it also tells you how often and how strong the winds are from each direction. First, look at the center of the wind rose. This is where you'll find the name of the weather station and the time period for which the data was collected. For example, it might say Timber Weather Station and December 6th, 7th. Now let's talk about the spokes. Each spoke represents a direction from which the wind is blowing. The length of each spoke indicates how often the wind came from that direction. If a spoke is long, it means the wind blew from that direction more frequently. For instance, if a spoke pointing west is the longest, it means most of the wind came from the west during that time period. To understand wind speed, things get a bit more complex. The spokes are often color-coded to show different wind speed ranges. For example, one color might represent winds of 5 to 15 miles per hour, while another color represents winds of 15 to 25 miles per hour. If a spoke has multiple colors, you need to do a little math to figure out the percentage of time each wind speed occurred. For example, if 72% of the time the wind blew from the west and 56% of that time it was at 5 to 15 miles per hour, the remaining 16% would be at 15 to 25 miles per hour. The colors and lengths of the spokes work together to give you a clear picture. If a spoke is mostly one color, it means the wind speed was consistent from that direction. If there are multiple colors, it indicates varying wind speeds. The circle in the center of the wind rose represents calm winds, or times when there was no wind at all. If this circle is small or non-existent, it means there were no calm periods during the observed time frame. Wind roses can also have multiple concentric circles. These circles help show the frequency of winds more clearly. The closer to the center, the lower the frequency, and the further out, the higher the frequency. Understanding wind roses is crucial for various activities and industries, such as aviation, wind farming, and even planning city layouts. For instance, knowing the prevailing wind direction helps in constructing airport runways and orienting buildings in new settlements. So the next time you see a wind rose, remember that it's not just a pretty diagram. It's a wealth of information about wind patterns that can be very useful in many different contexts.